hello everyone in this session we will discuss the next type of induction machine rotor that is the owned rotor the another name is the slip ring rotor so why it is called owned rotor and slip ring rotor first here generally in case of squirrel gauge induction motor if you observe there there is no winding there is no wounding wound of winding wound of winding directly so that's why here but slip ring induction motor or wound rotor there is a availability of winding winding will be wound winding will be wound that's why it is called the wound rotor this is the reason for wound and what is meaning slip rings here slip rings are this sr means slip rings are very much useful slip rings are used and by that only the operation will be done perfectly slip rings are have very important role here that's why this is called the wound rotor or the slip ring rotor okay so just observe here this is the slip ring rotor if you look at here these are the slots this space is the slots this red color is the wire just observe here this is the copper wires copper conductors and copper conductors and wiring is available these three these three are the slip rings so these three we can name it as and the this is called these three are called as the slip rings this process of winding is called the wounds so these are the gap is nothing but the slots this is the core okay just compare here for the squirrel gauge squirrel gauge directly it has like this this has the core and these are the copper bars directly these are the copper bars okay so that's why it is called the slip ring and our wound rotor here core made with same laminated silicon steel so both for in case of squirrel gauge or slip ring both the cases in case of stator as well as rotor so both cases we are only the laminated silicon steel only just keep in mind just laminated silicon steel the core is made with what is application of core core is useful to carry the flux what is intention of the core core has two intention first is carry the winding carry the winding how just look at here so this space carrying these are this is the slots are nothing but the core these are all combination is called this core so from this part to this part is completely called core and second path for magnetic flux path for magnetic flux so same as in the transformers also in the transformers the same thing is there we have stator core and rotor core uh, sorry primary core and secondary core the intention is to carry the winding first intention intention second winding is useful for magnetic flux right here next the slip rings carries slip ring slip ring in carries a distributed and short pitch winding similar to winding the not slip ring induction motor this is the slip ring induction motor carries distributed and short pitch winding similar to stator so just keep in your mind the slip ring induction motor have winding wherever the winding is there then automatically winding has winding has some particular connection here especially the slip ring induction motor has two connection one is distributed winding and the second one is the short pitch winding we have a some brief introduction already we discussed the brief introduction about these two things distributed means flux will be distributed the winding will be distributed in the all the slots equally what is short pitch winding coil span is less than 180 degrees as rotor carries rotor winding so this is a rotor rotor winding while placing rotor poles 
while rotor poles rotor poles must be equal to the stator poles this is important thing so whenever the intention of the winding is to to provide a magnetic flux that is the important thing the rotor carries the rotor winding so the winding is we are doing the winding such that and winding it will create poles so that will create some rotor poles that rotor poles must be equal to the stator poles so both rotor poles and stator poles must and should be equal otherwise it will not acceptable okay so same thing next if any changes are made in the stator number of poles the same changes has to be made in the rotor number of poles manually for example we have a slip ring slip ring induction motor initially the stator poles are four stator poles are four and automatically consisting of the rotor poles are four if by the requirement the stator poles are varied into the six then manually it should be varied the rotor poles must be the six so you should vary this otherwise the rotor will not rotates the stator carrying three phase winding the rotor can be wound for any number of phases okay so generally you know that stator always three phase winding why three phase winding three phase winding because we are discussing for the three phase induction motor we are discussing we are discussing on the three phase induction motor name itself three phase winding so it consisting of the three phases we are applying to stator rotor can be so this is for the stator but in this the rotor can be it should be the any phase any phase that may be that may be three phase four phase five phase any phase three four five six like any phase we can take any phase generally but in general the rotor also wound for three phase but always prefer it will be preferred only three phase winding three phase winding what what is the reason to maintain the mechanical balance when it is in three phase winding that time only it has the mechanical balance for the mechanical balance is the reason so that's why in three phase induction motor stator is always three phase rotor must and should better to use the three phase but you can we can use any phase any phase in the construction next rotor winding always in star connected irrespective of the whether star winding whether stator winding is connected star or delta here so we have the screwed gauge induction motor generally so it's part of two things one is the stator the another one is the rotor okay so stator we are giving generally a three phase supply here three phase supply you know we have two different types of three phase supply star connected three phase supply delta connected three phase supply it may be star or delta anything but rotor must and should be star connected winding rotor connection must be star connected here also the reason is mechanical balance again the reason is the mechanical balance so to maintain the mechanical balance always prefer three phase three phase winding and in the three phase winding you should have must and should have the star connected must and should have the star connected these are the important features of the squirrel gauge induction motor once again recollect that here the core made with the silicon steel and slip ring the winding have winding is distributed short pitch winding and the stator poles must and must should be equal rotor poles if any modification you should modify that next the the three phase winding state three phase the stator has three phase supply rotor have you can use you can generate any phase but for mechanical balance prefer three phase winding when construction of squirrel gauge induction motor the three phase winding is there for the stator that may be star connected or 
delta connected but in case of rotor it must and should be star connected for the mechanical balance for the mechanical balance next so so this is about the, the complete construction of the wound rotor or slipping rotor these are the important features i hope all of you understand the session thank you